data source in Terraform is a way to retrieve uh, information about a resource that was either created uh, using Terraform or created and managed outside Terraform. To give an example, let's suppose you want to create a machine in any cloud, be it AWS, Azure, Google, or any other cloud. And then in order to create the machine, you need a network in which you're going to create that machine. So the way to fetch the information about that uh, network, which could be VPC in AWS or VNet in Azure or um, uh, in or VPC again in Google Cloud or VCN in Oracle Cloud, uh, the way to retrieve that information is done through data, data source. Now, to go a little bit more deeper into data source with some examples, I'm going to uh, run a clip taken from our Terraform in job of job oriented Terraform program, where I'm going to bring an expert, Akhil, who's going to talk about this uh, data source, how they are being used, what are the examples, and some example we're going to use from, um, in, in this case particular, I'm going to take a, a Microsoft Azure, but you can use the same thing for a, AWS or Google and so on. Also, if, if you hang around uh, till end, I'm going to also uh, invite you for a free class. If whatever you're learning here, if you want to go deeper, and would like to get certified in Terraform uh, or get a good paying job in Terraform as a Terraform expert, then I'll invite you for a free class. So, so with that, let's go and look at first what is data source about. So what is data sources? Data sources is actually you want to retrieve the information of an existing resource. Okay. We have seen that all the information of your infrastructure is getting stored under .tf state file, correct? .tf state file, Terraform state file. This file, you see, this file is created .tf state file. And this contain information of your entire resource. Right now, I have destroyed. This file contain information of everything. So, what data sources can do is, data sources will source the information from your provider. You can fetch the information of your resource and then you can use anywhere in your Terraform configuration. Okay, so the logic is simple. Let's say that you have Azure Cloud. Okay, you have Azure Cloud. Now today you are learning Terraform, but let's say that since last decade, your company is already using Microsoft Azure or AWS or Google, whatever the cloud provider they are. Now on this, let's say they have created some resources already. Azure administrator has done this. For example, administrator has created a resource group already created. And now today after learning Terraform, when you will implement this knowledge, then your manager says that, hey Akhil, what you have to do is you have to create one public IP. And when you're creating this public IP, you have to create this in an existing resource group which is not created by terraform this is not created by terraform this is created by someone else by some other mean you don't know but what you have to do is you have to create this public ip in an already existing resource group so now the scenario has changed because just now we learned that public ip do needs resource group but that resource group was also created using terraform so that was not a challenge but now this resource group is not made by terraform somebody else has made this resource group on azure console then how we do this so this is where data sources are helpful data sources so what data sources will do is they will source the information of this rg to you so let's say this is your machine where you have installed terraform on your machine so data source will first of all fetch the information of this rg on your system okay that resource group name is this location is this id is this attribute all the attributes and then when you're giving public ip you give reference to this sourced attributes okay you give reference to this source attributes and then your task is done so this is what data sources are they help you to retrieve your information of a created resource take another example Let's say on your Azure cloud, your networking team, okay, your networking Azure administrator has created all the networking resources. Let's say they created a virtual network. They also created a subnet. Okay, they also created a network interface card. They also created a public IP. Everything is made on dashboard on Azure console, not from Terraform. They want you as a Terraform engineer to create one virtual machine. And when you are creating a virtual machine, you need all these resources, right? Network, subnet, 
network interface card public ip all these things but challenge with you now is that these resources are already created you have to use the existing resources this is where data source will help data source will say okay okay let me fetch these informations for you so first using data sources you will fetch all the information into your system on terraform once you have stored everything here then you will finally create a vm block and you will fetch all the information from this to your vm block and your vm will be created okay you can okay. say data source is like a middleman who is going to connect to azure fetch all the information of an existing resource and give it to the person who is using terraform and that the person using terraform will use that information to create the resource by that information so if you see this is another example now here everything should be clear everyone please be very careful first of all what is happening here these are two different cases okay in first case what is happening there is a resource block that means terraform is creating this instance so on azure or on aws you are creating it this is called created by terraform because i used resource block for instance while in second example i have used data block not resource block of same resource type aws instance in this case what will happen it is not going to create this is already existing this instance is already existing using data i am fetching the information into state file so this will be the difference when you are using data source you will define the block using data resource type as it is reference name as it is mandatory will be defined that's it okay simple example is this so again here we use the reserve word that is data and then the resource type and then the local name that you have provided to your resource whatever local name you have provided will be displayed over here and reserve yeah local name and then the addressing this is how you give the reference so if you compare data sources with resource block this is a comparison in resource block the keyword is resource in data source the keyword is data this is a very good point to remember using resource block i can do everything i can create i can update i can destroy because terraform has uh, created this so terraform is managing this resource but using data block i can only read the information i cannot update or destroy i can only read the information for example if there's an instance running and that instance was created by some other means not terraform then if i'm using data i can only read the information of that instance but i cannot do any modifications on that but if it is from resource block it is completely in my control so this is how you give reference now see take another example of uh let's let's do an example to understand this more better let's go to our machines so what we will do now is we will first of all create one resource group from azure okay not from terraform so everybody go to resource groups and click on create and uh, your subscription will automatically be selected you can give it a resource group named as whatever name you want for example i am saying akhil rg and location of your choice and then if you want you can add tags on next page clicking on next tags you can say this is for environment testing or development and then click on review create validation will be passed click on create it will hardly take a second to create a resource group it's very fast so resource group is created so we made this resource group from azure not from terraform so terraform don't know about this Akhilarji. So see what we will do is this resource group which we have on Azure portal, we will create public IP in this resource group. Okay. Now requirement is Akhil, you have to create public IP in resource group that is already created. So that means I don't need resource block this now. Remove this. Correct? Because already I have that resource group. But in that case, now the challenge is Akhil, then how will I pass my name and location? I need to fetch information first of that resource group, right? So this is where I will start writing data block, data. Data of what? Of my resource group, because I need to fetch the information of resource groups, Azure RM underscore resource underscore group. And then in double quotes, I can give any reference name I want, any local name. For example, let's say RG local. Okay. 
and now in double quote double uh, parenthesis what should i write i don't know what arguments are mandatory to define here so you can go to documentation and now you know that you search here resource group r e s o u r c e g r o u p and now you see you will go to which results resources or data sources data sources because we are not creating resource group resource group is already created we want to fetch the information so now i will go to the result called resource group in data block and you see i just have to give the name that's it i just have to give the name and it will fetch the information so my name is akhil hyphen rg so i will come here and i will say name is equals to in double quotes akhil hyphen rg save the file that means now what my terraform will do is before starting creating a public ip it will first go to my provider use data block to fetch the information of akhil rg resource group and after that it will start creating my public ip so when we create a public ip it will see that i need resource group name now what should i do here line number 7 changes anybody will tell azure rm resource group dot rg local dot name is that correct this is what you mean which is okay but problem is this address reference is used when you have resource block for this one do we have resource block for resource group no so in this case this will this is incomplete something is missing this information has to come that is coming from data very good rayan so before this you will add go to data data block data dot and then your resource type then your resource name and then your name this is where this will work same way location also i am saying go to data block resource type and from there fetch my location and give it to the location save it okay so now what happens in this case terraform is going to create a public ip in an already existing resource group which was not created using terraform okay terraform don't know about that terraform is only reading information of that resource group using data block that i have specified save it open a terminal go for plan let's press enter and check so let's apply this you can see it says one plan to add let's apply and see our state file so terraform apply and i will say auto approve because i am happy with the plan so auto approve so all if you go ahead and apply it and let's see if this public ip is getting created in an existing resource public uh, resource group that we did not create from using terraform so for me apply is complete let's go and quick verify it on azure portal if i refresh my resource group this resource group was created from azure but now you see i have got a public ip under this resource group public ip1 perfect hey before you go if you enjoyed this video and you want to go deeper and learn terraform in depth including getting certified and get a high paying job in terraform then i would like to invite you for a free class that i'm talking um on and bringing an expert where we'll be talking about everything related to terraform including a 8 week road map to go from a step by step uh, process uh, keeping beginners in mind to getting certified in terraform and become an expert um the class i'm doing you can check it out by going to k2academy.com/terraform02 enter your name email address phone number and hit submit and i'll see you in this free class take care and bye for now